Hey guys, welcome back. Got a haircut. What do you think? Looks pretty good, right? Uh, scalped me a little bit, but it'll grow back. Uh, anyway, uh, today's video uh, we're going to do on the Lionel Hotbox Reefer. Uh, I'm doing this because uh, I got a comment on my other video, which was the rolling, rolling, rolling stock video of um, some of my operating cars like this giraffe car. But I forgot what this one was. When I was doing the video, I said this was a milk car, and it's actually because I saw the pickups on the bottom. It's actually not a milk car. It's a hotbox reefer. If you're not familiar with a hotbox is, it basically means that one of the wheel bearings is going bad on a, a piece of freight, and they heat up, and then they can catch on fire, and uh, that's called a hotbox. And so uh, this uh, box car uh, sort of simulates that with uh, sounds. It's got smoke. It's got um, a flickering LED to represent the fire, and it goes through a sequence of uh, commands. So uh, we're just gonna sort of watch it and sort of have fun with it. So let's get started. Okay, so this this um, is operating car is really easy to uh, to use here. It's got three switches on the bottom here. You got the uh, sound on and off, right? You got the uh, excuse me, sound uh, or no sound. You got the smoke or no smoke, and then it's a complete on and off if you don't want anything. Um, and so, and then um, basically that's it, and it's simple. And if you don't turn it off completely, basically it'll always recite itself every time you turn the power off and on on your track. So, the only thing you have to do with this one is it has a little hatch here with a little opening for smoke fluid. So you just fill it with smoke fluid, and you just close it, and that's pretty much all you have to do. It's got a little. Uh, foam thing here to uh, seal off the smoke unit so um, but and then just make sure it's on the track obviously so it's not derailed and that's it and then you just have to pull it behind something so really it's a sequence of events that starts automatically as, as soon as the um, the reefer starts moving and it's a time sequence so you, it takes a little bit for it to get um, rolling but basically it takes about uh, you're, get, you're gonna hear some crew dialogue going along as it just starts and then after the crew dialogue about 30 seconds or so later You'll start hearing the screeching of the overheating bearing and then uh, there'll be just a tiny little uh, glow and uh, a tiny little smoke uh, will start uh, Coming out from the car and then uh, it gets a little bit worse as it goes along so about 20 seconds later you get more sounds and then the the crew starts like bait, getting more concerned, they start saying more things. And after about 30 seconds, then you're at sort of full blaze, right? You got smoke pouring out, you got sounds, you got the, the flickering lights simulating the, the fire. And the crew is saying the car is on fire. And, um, and that will continue until you stop the uh, car. Once it's stopped, then you're gonna get some more dialogue from the crew and some more sounds as they basically take a bunch of uh, buckets of water and try to put out the fire. And then after that's all finished, they'll do another announcement set where they say the bearings all repacked and we're ready to go and that's pretty much it. And every time you start the car up, it'll you know keep going on that same sequence. So again, if you want to um, turn it off, you have that switch on the bottom where you can turn it off. They do also have a bunch of uh, commands on the cab one or the cab two controller Whereas if you always want to keep this uh, box car in your consist, you can turn it off with the command control. But it does reset itself every time you turn the track power back on. So if you want it permanently off, for the most part, you should just use the switch on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. There's a volume control knob on the bottom. And uh, if you uh, want it a little louder or softer, and, um, and that's all it is. So let's get it hooked up to an engine and we'll just kind of follow it around and see what happens. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go at slow speed, and I turned all the sounds off and everything on the locomotive, so you can hear the crew talk. But there's gonna be a bunch of crew talk, and you're gonna see a bunch of stuff happening. So let's just walk, let's just go through the sequence. But hopefully, I can follow it around, and um, uh, you can see the full uh, the sequence of everything. So just gonna start up the engine, and then you'll immediately start hearing crew talk from the uh, the hot box.
and that's it. So that's the end of the sequence, and then um, when you start Save the, the uh, train up again, it'll restart the sequence all over again unless you turn off the switch. So that's Lionel's Hotbox Reefer. Pretty cool. Let's all right, guys. Go. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to uh, stay tuned for all the notifications.